Come on and celebrate this gift of love we will celebrate the Son of God who loved us and give us life. We'll shout and praise the King. You give us joy, nothing else can bring. We'll give to you our offering in celebration. A hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear friends, for this Holy Eucharist of Love. A gentle reminder to all of you before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and request all your near and dear ones to do the same. Today we shall pray in a very special way for those people who are not able to keep the Word of God in their hearts for too long time. We ask our dear Lord to help us to keep this word of God growing in our hearts and that we be able to spread it to the whole world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have deliberately said let us confess together i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers my sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what have I done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever worship, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Be a Saturday today. Let us dedicate our day through the intercession of our dear mother and seek for God's help. Let us pray. Look upon us, O Lord, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Before God, the source of all life, and before Jesus Christ, who spoke up as a witness of the truth in front of Pontius Pilate, I put to you the duty of doing all that you have been told, with no false or failures until the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ, who at the due time will be revealed by God, the blessed and only ruler of all, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal, whose home is in inaccusable light whom no man has seen and no man is able to see. 
To him be honor and everlasting power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response a real psalm. Come before the Lord singing for joy. Come before the Lord singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing for joy. Response Come before the Lord singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Response Come before the Lord singing for joy. Go within his case, giving thanks. Enter his course with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Response Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Indeed, how good is the Lord! Eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Response, come before the Lord, singing for joy. Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, Jesus used this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. As he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some seed fell on rock, and when it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell amongst thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell into rich soil and grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. The disciples asked him, What this parable might mean? And he said, The mysteries of the kingdom of God are revealed to you, for the rest there are only parables, so that they may see but not perceive, listen but not understand. This then is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. Those on the edge of the path are people who have heard it. And then the devil comes and carries away the word from their hearts, in case they should believe and be saved. Those on the rock are people who, when they first hear it, welcome the word with joy, but these have no root. They believe for a while, and in some time of trial they give up. As for the part that fell into thorns, this is people who have heard, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the worries and riches and pleasures of life, and do not reach maturity. As for the part in the rich soil, this is people with a noble and generous heart, who have heard the word and take it to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus, it is a fact that people who are truthful, people who live by the word of God in a genuine way, they will prosper in life. You try it out with yourself, how when it works with truthfulness, you have the world's joy. You do a little wrong and try to save it by doing many other lies and wrongs, you lose your peace within. And Jesus gives a beautiful parable today about the sower. There are three types of platforms where the seeds fall. One is on the footpath. What happens on the footpath? People, animals keep walking. And these seeds get trampled on and they get choked also in the mud. And then they get pressed. They have no way to grow. And some seeds that are fallen here and there, the birds take them up, pick them up and eat. And the other type of platform is a rock, a strong rock, where there might be a little mud. The seeds when they fall in this mud, they do not have enough mud to take roots because beneath is the rock and then they die off. Third, it's a land with thorns, bushes where it can be very fertile for the seed to grow, to initiate, but when it grows higher, the thorns do not allow the seed to grow into a plant. It gets choked and it might get, it might die. And the fourth type of a platform is the rich and good soil, where the seed very richly remains in the conducive climate, conducive atmosphere and begins to germinate and produce in hundredfold, thousandfold and many more. My dear friends, every person is a platform of the seed to grow, a soil. Having heard the word of God, Having taken Jesus as our example, yet what type of a platform am I? Am I a person of Jesus with truthful living, a genuine person who has a platform of rich soil? Or I am like the platform or a soil which is a footpath. And I keep the word of God for some time. And when people are walking here and there, somebody else takes the word and goes out. Because I'm not bothered. Secondly, I might keep the word of God with me for some time with gratitude to God. But when the scourge heat comes all around me, the seed might get burned up and die. Thirdly, if the platform is thorns, my own self is thorns, and the word of God falls there, the seeds, it grows, and with the worries and anxieties and tensions that I have of this world, it will die off with all these worries and if I truly possess the platform of good rich soil the word of God will grow 
I will have the joy of possessing this word of God into my heart and this will radiate to, from me to my children and to the whole genealogy. Therefore, I can give to the other as a Christian not what I tell, not what I proclaim, not what I teach, but what I am. Not even what I have. What I have is a material good. What I am is person with values, character and a person of Christ. Having reflected on this gospel of Luke chapter 8 verses 4 to 15, let us look into our lives in a moment of silence and ask my own self how have I lived with the word of God in me? Am I trying to bluff myself, bluff other people and others by showing the external signs of possessing the word of God or I truly genuinely possess it in my life? Amen. Lord, your own, through your goodness, Lord, we bring bread of our labor and wine to cheer the heart, which will soon be filled for us with the life of your Son. Abba, Father, let us be and yours alone. Set our hearts, our spirits free. Make us, Lord, your own. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth saints you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took prayer and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in the mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come let us share in the banquet of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Come let us share in the supper of the Lord,
Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us ask our dear mother to intercede for us very strongly during this time of pandemic, asking our dear mother to seek a miracle from our Lord to eradicate this pandemic from this world. Praying for those who are sick at this time due to various illnesses and due to COVID-19. Praying for all the poor people, the needy, those who are jobless and seeking for jobs. We pray for Afghanistan, for peace there. We pray for those people who are affected due to various disasters, due to family problems, disunity and hatred. Lord, we seek for your blessings at this time. Heal us and bless us, we pray. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have a wonderful weekend with your family and friends. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk alone. I just keep trusting my Lord and He gives me a song. The storm clouds darken the sky or the heavenly train. I just keep trusting Just keep trusting my love.